So we already covered nullable return values, but we can actually use void return now to typecast that something should not return a value. So a good example of this is if we had maybe some service, maybe we had a class that dealt with uh, any kind of service, maybe we wanted to at some point, maybe within the constructor, go ahead and register uh, what we needed. So let's create a method just here to demonstrate this called register service. This would literally just boot everything up and it probably wouldn't return anything. So we would just register the service here. This could be anything, it really doesn't matter. Now, if inside of the constructor, as soon as we uh, create a new instance of this, we wanted to register the service, we don't expect this to return anything. Now, this isn't a massive problem, but it kind of uh, adds in to the strict writing of code. So you kind of know what's going on. Now, if I boot up a service here, let's go ahead and inside of register a service, just echo something out just so we know that this is working. If we come over to the browser and give that a refresh, we see that value. So what happens if I want to explicitly say, well, this register service method should never return anything. There's no need for it to return a value. Well, quite simply using the colon operator that we saw earlier, we can pass in void instead. Now this will work. We don't see any errors and this is going ahead and registering a service, doing whatever it needs to do. But if for at some point later on, we actually return a value, so let's say we return uh, true here or return something else, then we actually see an error. A void function must not return a value. So again, this isn't entirely necessary, but just by adding in void at the end here, we're saying to whoever's maybe going to be working with our code or even ourselves later on down the line, this should never return anything. There's no need for it to return anything. We're not using the value anywhere. So it's just a little helpful type hint there uh, for a void return, just to make sure that this doesn't return anything. And if it does, it will go ahead and break. So again, not really entirely necessary for all applications. However, it is a very useful addition to aid in the strict typing of code.